Hey everyone, this is James coming to you from Dividend Stock Talk. We're here with my son, James, who doesn't really know a whole heck of a lot, but I'm going to see if I can explain this to him, and he's going to walk through and see what kind of a choice he makes. And by not a whole lot, he means like virtually nothing. <laughs> so if I seem like I have no idea what I'm doing, it's because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. First of all, we're looking at international paper. Now, before we move on, I'm just want to let you know that we only invest in stocks that pay a dividend. Now, international paper is going to be paying their dividend in less than 10 days. Now, historically speaking, the stock has a tendency to move up just before the EX day, which is coming up very shortly. So last week, we made a little play on it, and we ended up buying 5,000 shares of, of uh, international paper. And we're going to quickly go here, show you the monitor, and show you where we got them in at. So we ended up buying 5,000 shares at 52. Okay, that's where we stand at the moment. So we have 5,000 shares at $52. Now I'm going to walk him through a couple of trades and see which one's going to be most profitable to get rid of by the end of the week. Okay, so right now international paper is at 53. Interesting. So we're up a buck. So that's what we're up 5,000 bucks. That's about right, right? 5,000 shares. Sure. Up a buck, 5,000 bucks. So we're up 5,000 bucks on that. Now we could sell it today, take the 5,000, be happy, or we can make a couple of interesting option plays and make a little bit more money. So let's see what we have. International paper started out the year at 41.47, traded a couple of months in that little trading range. And right around July 1st, she jumps up to another trading range of 48, goes sideways, dips back down to 43. Right around election time, you'll find that everything moves around election time for some strange reason. Now, election time, she jumped from 43.62 up to a trading range of 53. That's a $10 move. What constitutes a 25% increase just because a president gets elected? I don't know if I politically can answer that. There's there nine. is no logical answer. Okay. He is a non-political person, gets in office, and then all of a sudden everything moves up. Well, International that's, he's a businessman. It stands to read. He's a businessman. That's okay. And he still has, despite what he says, a foot in all of his business arrears. That's okay. So anyway, the company goes up twenty-five percent right after the election. So she's been in the trading range of fifty-three for for ooh, about six months, and right now. She's at 53.01. So, like I said, we could sell it today at 53.01 and make, uh, what is that, $5,100 or something like that. Some crazy number. But if we sell someone the right to buy it from us at 53, we can make an extra 42 cents per share. That's almost $2,200. An oh extra $2,200. Hmm. Okay, so before we get that, Let's check something you guys might not have been looking at. It's a nifty little gadget that they have here. Go into chart mode. So it says standard. We're going to come down to this. It's called seasonality. You see this, James? It's called seasonality. I do. Monkey bars, seasonality. Who okay. comes up with these terms? I really don't know who comes up with them. This is. <laughs> I was stirring. The blue it. line represents where the stock is right now. That's where the stock is moving right now. This red line down here represents. 10 years worth of historical data. That's what the stock normally does over a 10 year period. Okay. Okay, so. It's averaged out. It's averaged out over the okay. 10 years. So this is where it is right now. See where it is right now in this red? So what does it look like it's gonna happen in the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks? So it's right. gonna go down. Exactly, so the choice is. like July. So the choice is we got a week to go before the EX date. We collect the dividend and hope it stays above 52. Or we can sell it today at 53.03. Or we could sell this call right here to give someone the option to buy it from us at $53 this Friday. Hmm. So we can get the $5,000 today. We can get $5,000 on Friday plus $2,100 today. Or we can hold it and collect the dividend in the next couple of weeks and hope it's going to stay above 52. Oh, it's supposed to spike up right at the beginning of July, where, fun fact, everybody, this man likes to forget somebody special's birthday. That's not true. His birthday's July 4th. He was born 3-something something a.m. in the morning. Anyway, so your guess, if it was your money, what would you do? Uh, I'd probably do it on Friday, where I can get the 5000 plus the extra 2100 
Okay, so that means you'd sell this call right here. Uh, yeah, also, that, that was the first thing that came to mind, and I know nothing. So it sounds to me like an amateur move, beca only because I know nothing. Therefore, I would hold on to it until I could make a more informed decision later after much studying. Okay, so basically, what we do well, here... My knee-jerk reaction is, yeah, the... Uh, Knee-jerk reaction, that means you, that's what you do, that your impulse is, say, I want the money, I want the extra If I was another person, yes. If I was me, no. Okay. So let me explain a little bit more detail. That way people and the audience will might understand a little better. We don't buy anything unless it's um, the dividend's coming up within 10 days. Okay, so this company has a dividend coming up in 10 days. That's why we have the position. Yes. Okay, so, so whether or not you want to keep it or not, it's already a good company. We already decided to buy it, so we already own it. Okay. Okay. Number two is the software says the stock moves up before the, the dividend date. Okay. So we had another five days to go before they pay their dividend. Oh, wait a minute. Next week. Yeah, okay. So they're paying their dividend next week. So you were right. Your first, in my humble opinion, I'm not saying she's right or wrong because there is no right or wrong answer. It's your money. Do what you want. However, if but he was, feels like he's right or wrong. <laughs> well, usually just right. He just doesn't want to tell you all that. I'm not allowed to tell you. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I cannot tell you what to do. I can only tell you what I would do. If this is a court, that would be leading the witness <laughs> because was... I got him to what I wanted him to say, but okay. I'm right. Okay. Anyway, I would, and that's probably what I am going to do, is sell the covered call. That way, I get the extra 43 cents, and 43 cents times 5,000 is a little about $2,100, $2,200. And then, if the stock stays above 53 come Friday, they buy it from us and we get that $5,000. So we get $7,000 rather than just five, just for waiting the extra four days. And we already know, historically, that the stock moves up just before the dividend date. Yes. So the, neat, yeah, so the neat thing about it is we make money if the stock goes up. We make money if the stock stays the same. The only time we're going to lose money if the stock goes down below 52 Okay. So, got what you want to do? That's, I mean, as a, as a test subject on your show, yes, that's what I'm going to roll with. <laughs> it's good you're going to roll with. All right. So, we pressed it right here, the, uh, the 53 call for this week, and it's a weekly call, so that means every Friday they have a new option to do that. Now, the neat thing about this, if this doesn't go, if it drops below 52, we can just do this again next week and get a couple more thousand bucks. All right, so let's go to 50... All right, and all right, we can make two thousand fifty dollars plus the five thousand dollars when we sell it. That's good. Good. I would assume. Okay. What the hell are you wearing? It, thank by you. The way. Thank you. He picked out the shirt for me to wear, so don't let him give you that crap. Anyway, this look good to you. All right, there she goes. And we got filled already. Isn't that nice? That's. Yes. Almost almost instantaneous. We got filled at, what did we get filled at? Let's go and, and see what we got here. All right, there it is right there. We got filled at 44, which is a little over 2,000 bucks. Okay. No, that, that, easy, that was easy enough. That was good though, right? That was very good. Look where we are at, the, at this moment in time. It says, what does that say right there? 53 cents really it says fifty three thousand nine hundred eighty six dollars and 22 cents but when i started that statement it was at a different number now it's 987 dollars it it's going to change every couple of seconds basically oh, okay. basically what that number right there means that is what our profit year to date is it does it just keeps changing it's going to constantly Why? change because the market moves and stock positions move, which means all the values People move. do this for a living. I'm well This aware doesn't of that. seem like a super <laughs> stable. This is gambling is what it is. Okay. Anyway, what that number basically means is we're up 53,986, which is almost 54,000. Okay. And if, and if we started out with 100,000, that is almost 54% in less than half a year. Yeah. Anyway, say bye to everyone, James. It's been real. I'll see you all next week. <laughs> same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> you guys have a great day. We'll check you the next broadcast.